Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, today we are going to talk about Roger Brummett Jr. So guys, I was in the middle of the Dustin McFedrin's video, which is going to come out here soon. And uh, somehow this dude flashed up <laughs> uh, on the Bread of Justice thing. And guys, I don't remember this knucklehead. I don't. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you remember Roger Brummett Jr. is his name. And good old Roger here got caught up in the Greenville, Ohio sting. You guys, I don't remember him. His segment's pretty short because he sees Chris Hansen and then he just kind of <laughs> just kind of books. He literally like walks out the door and then takes off running. <laughs> He's like five six and like two hundred pounds. I was like, it's like, dude, where are you going? What do you think you're going so fast? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. Okay. Anyways, guys, we're gonna get into this, but but before we do, guys, please remember. A like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps to keep this channel going. Hit the notification bell, guys. Uh, I try to go live on Tuesdays at 6 and Friday uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So guys, feel free to join the lives, join the discords. I drop the link to the discord during the live stream. So yeah, guys, join the lives to uh, join the discord. All right, so... This knucklehead drove like 90 miles. You, you guys. 90 miles to meet a 13 year old. He calls himself Roger4450. How, how original. Guys, look, he's 45. Look at, look at him. God, he looks terrible, man. Like, I don't know if, if it's just like culture or whatever, but guys, I'm like 40, almost 43. And people still think I'm in my like early 30s. You know what I'm saying? It's, but it seems like, like, 15, 20 years ago, people in their 40s were, like, middle-aged. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways. Okay, or at least they look middle-aged. I guess I, I am middle-aged. <laughs> anyways, okay, okay. So, the, uh... Let me turn this commentary off. This commentary drives me crazy. Okay. So, the decoy's name is Katie Did Sings. And uh, apparently they cut off the actual greeting because she has, she says, thanks, age, sex, location. He says, a lot older. She says, LOL, okay, but you do look good. Thanks, you're going to be a knockout when you get older. Ugh, guys. Can you think of anything more, more creepy to, to say? But you know what the craziest part is, guys? Is think about how many times you see old, like, old women talking to like young boys that are nine you're you're gonna be a heartbreaker later wow you're a handsome man you're gonna be you're gonna be breaking ladies hearts <laughs> to me that's just as cre creepy you know, you know what i mean you shouldn't be talking to kids like that in any way shape or form anyways thanks you're gonna you're gonna be a knockout when you get older lol i already knock up knock them out i bet you do I bet you got all the guys chasing you. C H A S E I N, guys. You. I'm from Defiance, Ohio. You know where that's at? I live in Greenville. No? Just moved here. Ha Excuse it. I just moved here. I have no clue where anything is. Your profile says Hickville. Right? Yeah, like Hicks, like Rednecks. Yup. Yup. LOL. Lots of them here. You're still a hot. You're still a hot. <laughs> hey, do you have a pick? Not online. You got any more? LOL. You there? Okay. I'll let you go. You must be busy. But, okay, guys. So I was like reading this because they're, they're getting into the TCAP perv tunnel vision. So he's sitting there waiting with like bated breath like, do you have a pick? Not online. You got any more? LOL. You there? Okay. I'll let you go. You must be busy. Thanks. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> what a loser, dude. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay. She says, stupid bots. Keep hitting me. You busy? Just trying to get rid of spam bots. 
I know, they get me too. So how far are you from me? I know, I did the same, about an hour. I live in Northwest Ohio. That's cool. Is Greenville down by Interstate 70? I don't know. I know that I'm by 36. By Indiana line? Okay, I know where that at. I'm a trucker. I just moved here with my dad like two weeks ago. Okay, cool. I still can't believe you're only 13. Why? You look a lot older. Thanks. <laughs> LOL, you're already billed good. <laughs> like generic white male. Built good, right guys? Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Like 17 or 18 years old. I don't look old enough to get in a club or anything. Okay, well, your picture. <laughs> you look like you're 17 or 18. You look great. Thanks, since I'm 13. Wait, thanks, since I'm 13. I wonder how old I will look when I'm 20. LOL, not many girls your your age is built like, like, like you. That's all. Texas grows us good. GUD, guys. LOL, LOL, I, I bet. I better go go to Texas. Um. Uh. Wait, I better go to Texas. G girls are built better. Lol. Lol. I thought you were a cam girl at first. I didn't know till I look at a, at your profile. Lol. No. Okay. You have one. <laughs> profile. No. Pick. New PC. No pick yet. Gotta get a cam. Okay, you got cam. No. Okay, I told you that. I I see your pick on MySpace. Damn, that even better. LOL. So what you doing tonight? Nothing. Just chilling by myself. Okay, me too. Nothing to do. I might go out later. Yeah, to a bar. Well, my dad's in Jamaica until Monday. Damn, and you're there by yourself? Yeah, no party? No, I don't. Okay, okay, that's too bad. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, if I was younger, I'd come over. LOL. LOL, <laughs> me too old for you. <laughs> LOL, my last boyfriend was 20. I'm your dad's ages. He says ages. I'm your dad's age. I'm 44. So my dad's 54. Okay. But you're older than my mom. Yep, but still old. LOL. My dad says age is all in the mind. <laughs> Dude, and this guy was like, imagine him like, oh, sweet, as he's typing, you know what I mean? Dude, these guys are so stupid. They're so dumb, man. So, 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 so dumb. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. You get me into trouble, LOL. You know what I mean, LOL? No, you, you're you underage, LOL. I'm not a baby, yeah, no. Yes, but you never drank. Yes, I have. Or had sex or stuff like, like that. Um, yes, I have. Damn, if you were older, I would come over. Have a drink, have a drink, y'all. Have a drink. <laughs> How old guy you had sex with? You there? My ex-boyfriend, he was 20. And your dad didn't say anything? Or did he know? I live with my mom in Dallas. Okay. And she effed him. Damn. That's why we're not together. I live with my dad now. How likely is this story? So you, this guy meets an underage girl that's like 12 or 13 that lives with her dad, and she moved away from her mom because her 20-year-old boyfriend that she had sex with and, and got her drunk, had sex with her mom. <laughs> okay. When you actually say the story out, out loud, it's like, dude, that's how dumb these, these guys are. Guys, I'm still trying to find a name for this T-Cat Pervert Tunnel Vision. If you guys have a name for it, put it in the comments or drop it 
in the Discord. I have to coin this term, guys, because <laughs> the story just sounds ridiculous, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Yes, my dad knew how old he was. Okay. Well, you are hot. Thanks. I would eat you up. <laughs> What's the narrator guy at the beginning of some of them? Where it's like, you're really cool. And then the guy goes, I would tear that bleep up. <laughs> okay. Uh, LOL. What do you mean? You know, lick. You know how girls yeah, do oral. Yeah, well, I would do you, do you. I've never been uh, L-I-C-E-D. Licked? LOL, I would. Well, you're not here, so you can't. All, I would, all over. Or what, what does Chris H Hansen say? I would blank you all over? If I was, I would. LOL, well, you're not. So, so can I? If I was, LOL, if you were... Here, maybe, but you're not. Okay, LOL. LOL, you're cool. <laughs> LOL, so are you. You make me laugh. Me too. What have you ever do sex? Done. What? <laughs> He's like, dude, learn how to type, bro. You said you had sex before. What all you done before? <laughs> Guys, are you ready for this? Like, just from behind. What? The butt? <laughs> oh, man. Roger, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. There you go. She said, No. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I done it all. That's cool. So the guy never went down on you? No. Damn. You love damn. You love that? You ever give oral? Yeah, cool. Well, if I was there, you could do me. LOL. LOL, but you're not. Okay, would you if I was there? LOL. Maybe. I bet you're already hot. LOL. And wet just talking about it. LOL. Right. LOL. No, no, I'm just friggin' bored and lo lonely. This house is super scary and dark. Okay, I'll come over. LOL, LOL. No, I'm serious. It's scary. I know. You live in the town of the country. Country? Uh, okay, why? Just asking. You really want to protect me, guys? Now, now this person put country but left the O out. And then instead of C O M E, put the C U M. This is supposed to be like a twelve-year-old or a thirteen-year-old, right? Um. Why? Do you, do you want me to? Do you want want to? I can. I could use the company. Me too. I just don't want to get in trouble. I won't tell anyone. Are you going to? I can. What? I can't? Because uh, I don't want to get in trouble either. We can get a room until tomorrow. Any motels around there? No one knows me at this house. Okay, so my dad just moved here a month ago, and there's hardly any neighbors. Okay, what are we going to do when I get there? I don't know. What do you want to do? Uh, this is the worst part of these chat chat, chat logs. Guys. So uh, what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm only 12 and a vir virgin. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Ah, uh, that's the worst part of this whole thing. It's, it's goofy back and forth. It's ridic ridiculous. And it's because these guys, I honestly think that it's because they think that if if the, if the decoy says more stuff, then they can't get in trouble for it, right? So they can be like, Officer, she, she was the one... <laughs> That was trying to, uh, you know, proposition me, you know. Anyways. Uh, be right back. Coffee. You live in Greenville, Ohio, right? Yeah. Okay. You back? Yes. 
What you doing? Just chilling here. Okay, what's wrong? Nothing, just bored. Are you are you really going to show up? <laughs> I hear. Well, well, are you really planning on com- com- coming? I will. But how are you going to meet me? Serious? Serious? Yes. Uh, how about I open the door and say hi? You're messing with, with me. Nope. Sorry, guys. Nope. Or would you be... Or would you be taken to me? Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm here. Was look at Mag to see where you're at. I think he says a map. Imagine this guy sitting in his office chair at his house. <laughs> he's probably on some adult like sex room trying to sex sex chat with people so he's got like lube on his hands and now he's fumbling with this map. <laughs> and the map's like flopping around everywhere. <laughs> he's got stains on it. Anyways. Um, da, 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 da. I can talk to you on the phone to make sure you're real. Yes, you live down off of 127 and then 36. I don't know. I know that I live by the 36. Okay, uh, give me your number because I want to make sure you're not playing. I'm here. Is this long for you? I have a cell my dad set up, so I have to have a code to call me. No. Is this long for you? She, and then she says, I have a cell set up, so, so you have to have a code to call me. I don't want my, my brother and his wife to know. Then answer your phone quick. I, I live here with them. LOL. I wonder if the decoy adjusts the spell, like their spelling, to match these knucklehead spelling. <laughs> okay. Uh, th- they're sitting by the phone. Okay, so, so do you just want to give me, so do you just want me to give you the address and show up? Let's wait till later and I can call you. It's dark here. It's dark here. I don't want to be b- b- by myself anymore. It's scary. Let, let me check the mileages, my, m- m- the mileages so I can t- tell you how long. Okay, so before I get, Get there. Okay, hold on. Hurry so I can get in the bath. Go take a bath. I'll get the directions, okay? I'll be here waiting. No. I want you to leave. You want to what? I want you to leave. Okay. So you can get here sooner. <laughs> What's your phone so, so, so I can get there and call you? You can have my number, but it goes to a voicemail. And you have to have the code. Did they used to have that, guys? It's like a child lock on the phone. Like I, I never, I never heard of that. Oh, that was weird. Um, and I don't have it. My dad has the code. I just looked it up on MapQuest. Look at this. She says, I just look. I looked it up on MapQuest and said you're. Like 97 miles. Then I got to know where to go when I get there. LOL. I'll give you the address. Okay. You can look it up on MapQuest. And you'll have perfect directions. Yeah, but how I know you're gabbing me the right one. I promise on my grandpa's grave, it's about 90 miles to there. It it says 92.5 miles. What is it? What is what? Address. Oh, don't want to show the address there. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no. Yep. Let me get the directions here to add. So she has to, she has to give him the mapquest.com. It's called MapQuest, you idiot. Okay. Uh so are you coming? Do you want me to? Um, yeah. I thought we already went through this. Like I said, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble either. You get the directions and send them to me. Okay, trying. Did you get it now? I'm going to get off here and take a bath. 
so I can be ready when you get here. Okay, I'll check it out. You bath, and when you get done, I'll leave. No, leave now. Okay. If you want me to leave now. If you don't leave, if you don't leave now, it'll be really late when you get here. Guys, I know that there's a lot of guys who who read the chat logs. Guys, it's not easy reading these damn chat logs because of this. Because between the the grammar and then the fact that there's like a lag, right? So it puts the entries in order, but there are times where you can see that one person didn't see the other person's entry, so it throws stuff off. Right? <laughs> so, I'm reading it as best I can. All right, okay. Uh, 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 da -da. If you don't leave now, it'll be really late. So what do you drive so I can unlock the back door and let, let you in? A Corvette, just like uh, James Rutherford, right? <laughs> no way. Yes way. Really? Yes way. Can I have a ride? Why? Please? Sure. I love them. If you could drive, I'd let, we'll let you. I'm going to have one someday. Guys, speaking of Corvettes, man. I, I think I went off on the new uh, vet. R1. No, I think it's a Z06 vet. Guys, ah, like. <laughs> I'm not a fan, dude. I'm not a fan. I'm not a big Corvette guy anyways, but look at this thing. It looks like a really ugly Tonka toy, right? It's like they were like, like they got a bunch of 12 year olds. Like, yeah, man, let's make a car that's, that's bitching. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. I don't care what awards that a guy just doesn't look like a Corvette. I think the worst part is the back end. If they were to like take him the, like the part that's above the the exhaust, it made that body color too. It would just look a lot better, you know. But I just don't like this thing, man. Honestly, but good old Roger here drives drives the vet because he's badass, right? So he says that uh, he, it's pearl white. He has a nineteen ninety five pearl white vet. Let's see what, what that look looks like. 1995 Pearl White Vet. <laughs> oh, here, here we go. 1995. Here it is. Yeah, this is a C, a C5, I believe. Yeah. It's like, yeah, my, my vet's badass. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Uh, da, da, da. I'll be here for 15 minutes. Uh, that's why you know when I'll leave. Okay, but, but I'm not coming back on the, on the computer. I'm turning it off. Why? This, this stupid... CHR. I don't know what that is. It's killing me. Come back, back on so you know when I, I leave. I'm going to take a bath and go downstairs to wait for you. Okay, you need you need to leave now. Okay, so what color is the house? Like a, a tan, a tannish. Okay, you gonna be outside watching for me? It's freaking cold out there. Okay, I'll watch out the window. How am I gonna know what how, house it is? And then and then when you see, and then when I see you, I'll meet you at the back door. It's a big house. See how that was kind of off there? Um, is there a house around? Or are you in the country and there is no house around? Four car garage. Very few around us. You want a country, country road? So I'm the first house on blank. Okay, I'm leaving now. Uh, okay, I'll be leaving in 15 minutes. Hope you're right. Hope hope you're telling me right so I don't get lost down the, down there. I've got MapQuest for directions. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay, we'll take your bath. There's a, a POW flag flying on the flagpole. I'll see you when I get there. That way, that you know you're... That it's my house. Case, okay, I see you soon. 
and you're all by yourself? Yeah. How close is the closest house to you? This guy's all paranoid. <laughs> Across the street. Okay. But they don't know us. Okay. Yes. I'll see you soon. A bit. I'll be leaving at 15. So, he, guys, he said he was going to leave, and then he didn't show up. She says, thanks for standing me up. Hey, girl. I got a blown tire on the way down, so sorry if I, if you come, wait, sorry. If you come online, get in touch with me. Roger was not standing you up. He has to, he has to refer to himself in the third person, guys. Roger was not standing you up. Sorry, hun. Sorry, I had, I had a tire blow up. Blow out. I didn't get back home until 3 a.m. You was not online. Maybe I can come on, come up today. Hey, girl, you out there? I'm sorry. Are you there? Hello, I'm here. Sorry, hon. Are you gonna be here? Uh, and make it up and make it up for leaving me last night. I blew a tire. Uh. I got a tire on it now. I can. What we gotta do when we get there? Again with this. Uh. Whatever you want. Just hurry. Okay. Because my dad comes home tomorrow. What time is your dad back? He'll, he'll be back by 5 a.m. And then he asks her for her address. Phone number. And off we go. Guys, let's just see what this knucklehead has to say. Guys, these people. All these red flags. And this knucklehead wants to go over and try and meet a little girl. All right. So here we go. I think his segment's really, really short. So I don't remember him. Anyways. Oh, and thanks to Yap Yap for posting this. Quietly arrest him because there's another man around the back of the house about to walk in. Where you at? Where we at? <laughs> I just whacked the crap out of my toe. I'm gonna go get a band-aid before I bleed on the rug. At the Look at that, he hears the voice, he's like, oh sweet. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, oh man. Bleed on the rug. At the back door, another team of detectives moves in. Just hang out at the bar for a second? Oh, okay. I'll be right back down. I just, if I bleed on the carpet, I'm gonna get shot. He's chewing gum like Richard Briault, right, guys? Damn, it's a nice place. He's a 45 year old truck driver, Roger Brummett, screen name Roger 4450. He drove more than 90 miles to meet a girl who said she was 13. Online, he asked the girl if she's ever given oral sex. She says yes, and he says, well, if I was there, you could do me. You have a hard time finding the place? Why don't you have a seat on that stool for me, please? Please, right there. Chris Hansen in his prime, man. Look at that. Even with no tie or anything, dude just looks professional, right? No, I'm leaving. Well, you know, you got to know a couple things before you go. He takes off. <laughs> Guys, he doesn't want to talk to Chris. He thinks he's going to go out the front door. <clears throat> and Tokyo Drift, the pearly white vet. <laughs> Down the country road, right? But just like my boy Ramsey Bolton says. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. About the back well, door, <laughs> where detectives are waiting. Get over here! Get over here! Share something! <laughs> Look at that. He was trying to run. Like, dude, really? Like, like, where did you think you were going? And, and do you think you were going fast? Get over here! Share something! <laughs> 
She said she's 13 years old. She said her name was Katie. Katie. Okay, in the meantime, though, all the other men arrested in our investigation are facing questioning by detectives. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So, guys, that was Roger, right? Roger Wayne Brummett. Senior, not June, junior. Sorry. So, guys, uh, he got arrested. And he, he was uh, charged with attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. And he pled guilty, right? And only got two months in jail, Ohio. What are you doing? And then he was on community control, which is like, uh, you know, probation, for two years and then had to be on the RSO. And then he had to do 40 hours of, of community service and then participate in, you know, uh, pervert tree treatment and then uh, he couldn't be near children under the age of 18 and then he couldn't have a, have any corn and then he had, he had to do random drug tests um, he had to have employment but yeah he he did his probation and was taken off the RSO in 2018 so and I haven't seen any updates on this guy so I don't know, but he's out there somewhere. Roger, Roger. You are an idiot, sir. All right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, join the lives, join the discords. I'm out of here.